What's up everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the Nike Air Max 1 Daisy. Initially, this originally dropped only in kids sizing, but then Nike came back and dropped these in men's sizing, and I was able to cop these when they dropped on June 17th. The retail price on this shoe is 140 US dollars, which translates to about 195 Canadian, and the official colorway for this shoe is white, black, ghost green, and speed yellow. Constructed in a very spring and summer ready look, this is your classic Air Max 1 silhouette. However, for the most part, the upper of the shoe is constructed out of canvas. So as you take a look at the toe box, this is made out of white canvas, which is very soft to the touch, and it almost has like this worn in denim feel to it. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, here we have a light gray colored canvas, and then printed on the lateral side, we have this daisy graphic. At the base of the toe box where the laces start, here we have this black nylon material. This gray canvas runs down the length of the shoe as a mud guard, and it also covers the quarter panel of the shoe as well. Overlaid on top, we have a yellow colored swoosh, which is constructed out of corduroy. Surrounding the top ankle collar area, we see the return of the white canvas once again, and then below this we have that black nylon material, except this time we have these daisy graphics printed throughout. Stitched in the middle on the back heel, we have Nike Air branding, which is embroidered in yellow. For the laces, I gotta be honest with you guys, the first thing I did when I got this shoe was I replaced the stock laces with my own set of laces. So what they give you is a thin neon green colored lace, but I prefer my shoes to have the more standard thicker laces, so I swap them. In either case though, it's still done in this ghost green color, and then underneath this we have this blue colored canvas tongue, and at the top we have this translucent tag, which has that DZ graphic and Nike branding done in cursive lettering. Taking out the insoles, these come with a yellow colored insole with that daisy graphic and Nike branding on the heel. The upper of these Air Max 1s sits atop this foam midsole which is entirely done in white. Underneath the heel we have this cutout which exposes the air sole unit found within the shoe. And in this case the air unit itself is colored in that same ghost green color that the laces were done in. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your classic Air Max 1 outsole. However, in this case, this is entirely done in this cloudy, semi-translucent finish, but besides the actual material used, the look of the outsole is the same. In terms of fit, so these fit the same to me as all my other Air Max 1s, so for me personally, I go up a half size. My true size is a size 10, slightly on the wider side, and I almost always go with a 10.5 with my Air Max 1s. So for this pair, I grab these in a 10.5, and, and they fit me great. If you do have narrow or normal width feet, you could probably get away with going true to size, I just prefer the added toe room that going up a half size provides. Next up, in terms of comfort, so unfortunately the Air Max 1, similar to a lot of Nike retro shoes from the 80s, isn't going to be the most comfortable shoe on the market. Still, it's not uncomfortable by any means, just don't expect too much from a softness standpoint, but it'll still be fine for just an everyday, casual use sneaker. Finally, in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship on my pair, honestly I had zero complaints. The canvas material felt pretty decent, and the overall build on my shoe was flawless. There was no loose stitching, no glue stains, nothing like that that really bugged me. So all in all, a very solidly well-built shoe by Nike. With all that out of the way now, let's lace up these Air Max 1 daisies and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. All in all, this is another very decent Air Max release by Nike. To me, this has a really strong spring and summer vibe, and I really like how the colors on this shoe really remind me of being outside on a nice sunny day. Everything from the blue representing the sky, the green for the grass, and the yellow for the sun, all that ties in very well with the theme, and I'm really excited to add this pair to my collection. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Air Max 1 Daisy. What do you guys feel about the look of this shoe, and is this something that you guys would personally rock? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at sgo8. Check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.